lots and lots of issues. The pro the biggest problem really is the wastewater. Well, water supply and wastewater. This location in Rockingham County in particular right now is in the headwaters of the North Fork. Um, obviously an important place for uh, water to be pristine. Pretty obvious that some bad things can happen as far as water contamination, groundwater contamination. From a water perspective, there, there's the water quantity and the water quality issue. The quantity of consumption and where is it going to come from and how is it going to impact these streams that are dry most of the summer or nearly dry. And then what happens when you have a product, a byproduct of the industry and where does it go? The quality of the water that comes back it contains surfactants, which are mystery materials that the uh, fracking companies won't tell you what they are. Chlorides, metals, barium strontium, selenium, and these naturally occurring radioactive materials. There's really no treatment capability for it. All our treatment systems are set up with a biological process. You'd have to use an actual physical process of treatment to treat the water. There is no publicly owned treatment works, city sewer plant, that has any capacity whatsoever to handle this kind of stuff. Okay, they're not designed to treat water of this chemistry. I mean, we all bring, bring the air, we all drink the water. So, and once an aquifer is, is polluted, that's it, it's gone. The other thing that seems to be pretty common, you don't have to look very hard to find it, is problems with the process. These people lost their water supply completely. But what happened, they lost their water supply, and then their water supply came back, but it was full of methane. They couldn't use it. Watch carefully. It's on fire. This is natural gas coming up through the creek. And what we think happened here is they didn't do a good cementing job on the casing, and now they have gas continuously. Accidental spills, uh, vehicle crashes, um, flaring that doesn't go as it's supposed to. A, a well worker walked into this area. Whatever set the fire, it could be as simple as if he opened up his nylon jacket and a spark flew. We had to life flight this gentleman out. His clothes were completely burnt to his body and to his head. This truck, which does not fit on our roads, is full of drip gas. Another drip gas fire. We've had drip gas fire after drip gas fire. Extremely, extremely dangerous. States where they have done a good deal of this, like New York and Pennsylvania, we're, we're far behind them because this is not something that we've had any experience with here. If citizens don't take an active interest in the impacts of natural gas drilling, Pennsylvania forests could pay the price, said John Quigley, the secretary of the State Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. We will see a degradation of Penn's woods, the likes of which is unprecedented in the history of the state. Obviously, the first thing people need to do is educate themselves about it. Um, in particular, what it will do to their water supply. And after they have that education, I think it's very appropriate to ask our county supervisors to protect them. It kind of comes down to whether they think that you can drill pr protectively or not. And if you think you can drill protectively, then they should be, people should be advocating that they adopt all these protective provisions in the county's special use permit. And if they don't feel like they can drill protectively, protect both their private property rights and the, and the public resources like the streams and the forest, then they should oppose it entirely.